Not one single person has donated to J Boogie ever since he or she complained that her health is getting worse every day after she underwent the BBL surgery. Not one single person have donated to J Boogie. She is crying for financial support, or he is crying for financial support, and not one single Nigeria, not one single person have said, J Boogie, please take these for medical bills. What is wrong with you Nigerians? <laughs> when uh, Mr. Ibu was sick, you guys donated millions. When uh, your celebrities are sick, you guys donated millions. So why are you guys treating J Boogie? Differently, J Boogie is a popular cross dresser from Nigeria. She is among or is among the Bob, Bob Risky, James Brown uh, link. And uh, she decided just exactly what Bob Brisky did that she wanted to enlarge uh, Bum Bum, you know, look more swagalicious, look more slim, shady, look more fine than what she was before the reason best known to her why she wanted to look like that but she was just trying to keep up you know trying to keep up so she underwent that uh, uh bbl surgery but unfortunately her home was successful but it seems like the doctor who did it for her <laughs> is a quack doctor and the doctor messed up her body in fact they say they boogie no feed the peace directly in the peace and the everything yama yama they store inside somewhere they don't know where the thing they store pushing is constantly feeling pain oh my god make it easy for her now i want to ask a question what are the lgbtq community doing about this in nigeria because we know lgbtq in europe in usa uk Whenever their their member is going through such difficulties, they immediately rally around, provide money to assist their member. In fact, the government will assist them, but the LGBTQ, what are you guys doing? Why don't you want to go to J Boogie Rescue? She or he needs you. She or he wants you. She wants your help. Why don't you guys come together? They are uh, James Brown there, they are Bob Risky them, all the rest. These those guys in Kaduna, in Kano State that were caught. You know, those guys in the South Side that were caught. You know, all those guys. Why don't you guys come together to assist your person? Eh? Because obviously, me, my cobo, no go enter J Boogie hand. And I will tell you the reason why. I wasn't there. She, she didn't consult me. She she didn't this is not a natural sickness, but okay, let me conclude. This is not a yeah, she's not going through natural sickness. She's going through what she used her own hand. Her own hand. Problem they sleep, you got go with her. You use your own hand, carry problem, poor for body. Now you want us to come and assist you. But LGBTQ are comrade. They understand what she was going through. They understand the need of how he to enhance the body. They understand what it will benefit him if he go on to enhance her body. They understand that clearly very, very well. Because me, I don't understand that. And I, I, many straight people do not understand it as well. So they relate to J Boogie. So they should go to J Boogie Rescue. J Boogie needs you. I'm using this as an avenue to also call them out to go and assist J Boogie. Because this is their comrade. Your comrade is, is going, no? He's going. The other day, the, uh, yesterday here, I think uh, there's a video now. There's a video of, a uh, live video that she talked about what she's currently going through. Sorry if I'm contradicting you about the he or she. I'm kind of like confused. Because the other day, I would have simply used she for her, she for him. Because the other day, 
when there were rumors that uh, Nigeria police is coming for them, almost all of them, including Jeboke, came out to say they are not part of LGBTQ, that they are just cross dressing for entertainment purpose. Just Brian Evo Tucker, Bob Brisky Tucker. So that is why I'm confused because they don't want to pick a stand. The other time I was privileged to talk to one LGBTQ uh, uh, community person, and the person from Nigeria told me that they don't recognize Bob Brisky, Jess Brown, and the uh, J Boogie and the rest because they are making money. The sole purpose of being uh, a cross dressing is to make money. So as long as you are there to make money and it's not passion from your heart, they, are, they do not recognize uh, them. I do not know. I'm not part of them. I don't know how it works. I don't know why they said that, but that's what they said. So let's listen to Jay Boogie, guys, and maybe you might be touched. What of all the uh, our, our boyfriend, our customers? What of our customers? People who sympathize with her. What of people who are buying out those expensive stuff? What of people who are taking out to expensive holidays? They should come out and assist Jay Boogie. What of the money she has been making since? Because if you are going to such operation, you should also keep money aside. Small money aside to treat yourself just in case the operation goes sideways. Because you are not God. You cannot say, I'm going to do this operation, it's going to be successful. And you know what you are doing is what you want to do in your heart. It's not as if you are having uh, an issue that you want to surgically remove all those things. And you only have the money for this. You, she should have have a plan B just in case it goes sideways. I'm going to use this to undergo another uh, 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 surgery to cleanse my body. Chai. So, I keep hearing she, she has been in contact with the doctor and all that, so I've not been really seen or anything, and my condition is getting worse by the day, and nobody's donating funds anymore, and all my life savings have been going for dialysis and all, so I don't know what tomorrow holds it. I'll survive it or if I won't survive it, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. This lady has messed, has messed my whole life up, my career she has messed everything up. I'm trying to take care of my siblings. She has messed everything up. <laughs> Jay, Jay, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Jay, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, so, till now, she hasn't reached out to you yet. Yeah, I love you. Okay, guys, we're just live today because I felt like it's it's not nice for for us to people feel like jay is getting better and they'll feel oh everything is going well not knowing that you know it's 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 not going as it should be she's trying to really be strong it's not easy and so many many funds are going down like people are donating but it's not enough the surgery the plastic surgery community in nigeria betty i don't know if you could yeah. talk about that oh yeah i can i can so um for those people who don't know me my name is betty and um i hey guys uh after listening to jay brown crying honestly there was something in me that switched huh? there's something in me that switched immediately and uh firstly i I pray that I shouldn't use my hand to carry a problem that I cannot handle. I pray for that. Knowingly and knowingly, I shouldn't use my hand 
to carry problems that I cannot handle. God, please, I shouldn't. Remove me from that space because I don't want to be crying for fun. Don't give me any sickness that I cannot handle. Don't give anybody sickness that they cannot handle. Hmm? Not just sickness, physical sickness that you can say, oh, here's pain in you. There are some people who have mental sickness, who have a sickness of uh, not being okay with what God has given them, who have sickness of always wanting for more. So I pray God removes such sickness from everybody and from me. So please, if there is anything in you that switched uh, while listening to JBB, please donate for me. She really needs help. She really needs help. I just want to remove that part from myself because Jay Bogi is a human being first. And me, I just want to remove it because ordinarily, if I talk at the way I feel, I'm eh? <laughs> If I talk at the way I feel, I'm, but since human life is involved, eh? we are talking about life here. Someone who needs help. Then I think I wouldn't go that deep to start talking uh, what I really feel. First, let us see, let people secure our well-being first. Secure our well-being first before you start blasting her. You know, assist first before you start blasting her. They say, person may talk say they sick now they be treat. If someone say keep quiet and uh, continuously going through that difficult phase. That thing might end, end that person. So, as long as J. Buku is coming out with the shame and everything, talking about this particular stuff, I think there is a need for you guys eh, to listen and assist. And the LGBTQ community, Bob Risky, Bob Risky is laughing at J. Buku. Bob Risky, no care. But well, maybe that video now will make a get change of mind. If not 1 million naira, or two million naira. You know, Nigerians are going through a lot. That is why I'm calling on LGBTQ community in Nigeria. Nigerians are going through a lot with the increase of things. So, person, no bad for job. What could they do all those things? All those customers, people that have been assisting and taking her on holiday, she has bills to pay. She has family to take care of. Her family will have been taking, uh, taking from her. This is the time for you to give back to her. She needs you. No, be all the time that they collect from her. It's time for you to give back. Please, please assist. Assist, assist. Hmm? I think I don't try that. I don't want to try. Me, I don't come blast her now. They don't, they don't say I don't get human sympathy. I don't try now. So I think I should end the video here.